I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank all my subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and posting excellent comments. Now here is a request from one of our subscribers who wants to understand what are even and odd functions and how to figure it out when you work with multiple trigonometric functions. So I have taken two examples to explain the concept. Here is question number one. Which of the following is an even function? Four options are given to you. Let us first try to understand what are even functions. So for any function, if we try to figure out what is f of minus x, and if we get f of minus x as equal to f of x, then we say it is an even function. If we find f of minus x to be equals to negative f of x, then it is called an odd function, correct? So that is the basic. Now, <clears throat> as you know, even functions are symmetric about, they are symmetric about y-axis. And odd functions are symmetric about origin. So they have point symmetry. When we are talking about sine and cosine functions, then which are even and which are odd? Well, we know sine of minus x is equals to minus sine x and we also know tan of minus x is equals to minus tan x correct so both of them are odd functions on the other hand cos of minus x is equals to cosine x right similarly secant also will be equal to secant x so these are even functions. You get the idea, right? Now with that base, let us answer all these questions. Now here, we have combination of these two. Some are even, some are odd. We need to figure out which one of these are even functions. How do we find it? Well, here we are talking about addition. For even, I will write E, and for odd, I will write O. So what we see here is we are getting odd plus even, right? So that is neither. Now in this case, tan is an odd function. We are dividing this by x, which is also an odd function, plus sin x which is also an odd function so what we are getting is odd over odd and that is even so you can use negative sign for odd and positive for even to understand the algebra of the thing you're getting my point so if you work out like this it will be very simple now sine square as soon as i do the square i make it even right on the other hand, 1 plus tan. Now, 1 is an even function, right? And tan is odd. So we have a combination which is neither because this is like even and odd. Now, you are looking at a combination which is, I should say, not even, right? So it should have been same sign. Now let's look into the last one, which is odd times even. So when you multiply odd and even functions, in that case, what do you get? You get an odd function. Is it okay? So the answer here clearly is B, which is tan x over x plus sin x is an even function. Now what you can do here is also work it out, just to check. So we could do tan of minus x over minus x 
plus sine of minus x. So what you get here it will be minus tan of x divided by, if you take minus common, you will get x plus sine x. And that will result back to the function itself, which is tan x over x plus sine x. So what we see here is that f of minus x is equal to f of x and therefore this particular function is the even function. Is that clear? So there are many ways to do it but probably I like this strategy of using like negative and positive signs for odd and even to figure out when there are multiple functions with us. So I hope this concept is absolutely clear. Now let's take question number two for you to try out, right? So here is question number two for you. I would like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Which of the following is an odd function? Now we are looking for odd function, not even, right? So apply the strategy. Odd means f of minus x should be equals to minus of f of x and this type of function is symmetric about origin. I hope you must have got the solution by now. Okay, here is how we are going to work on this. We need odd. So what we have here is sine x is an odd function multiplied by e1 and we are dividing by an odd function. Do you see that? So we are getting odd over odd. Negative over negative, we will get positive even. Do you understand? That is not our answer. Now if secant x is taken, we know secant x is an even function. x squared is also an even function. Sine x is an odd function. So what we get here is even divided by odd. And that definitely will be an odd function. So this is our answer. So I hope you understand the strategy. Perfect. So, oh, you could even use negative and positive signs. So you could say this is positive over this is positive times negative. And what you get as a result is negative. That means odd function. Do you get an idea? So whatever way suits you. Ultimately, if somebody wants for an explanation, then you can always prove that f of minus x in this case is minus of f of x. So I hope the concept is clear and that should help you to answer similar questions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and share my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.